Hey guys, what's up? Nimble Sloth here, and today I'm going to be coming at you with a free access Fire Fist deck. Um, you've seen me being playing around with the free access Fire Kings for about a month, a month or two now, and it's a deck that I really enjoy. And I was talking to fellow Yu Gi Tuber SS Jason19. There'll be a link below in the description if you guys haven't heard of him. If you want to go, if you want to go check him out, and he was talking, and I was asking him about um, nice little tech cards to run in free access Fire Kings. And he was saying about the synergy that Crane Crane has with uh, Brotherhood of the Five Fist Spirit. So I thought I'd try it out, and in the Free Axis Vikings, it was working amazingly. And so it kind of inspired me to think, well, okay, everyone thinks that the Free Axis Five Fist deck is pretty much dead. So I thought I'd try out Crane Crane in the deck and see how it works. And I've been playing about with it for the last day and a half, I'd say now. Um, and it's really good. I, I really enjoy playing with the deck. Um, it's been testing really well uh, for me. Um, a lot better than what I actually uh, expected as well, considering there's only one spirit. So I'll just jump straight into the deck profile and explain like my card choices along the way and, you know, pretty much what they do. Um, so one spirit. Spirit is the, you know, the kind of, it's the card that kind of sets up all of your plays in the deck. It's level 3 tuner. Uh, it's a shame that it does read, cannot be used as a synchro summon except for the synchro summon of a beast warrior type monster. That does kind of suck, but the best part about its effect is that when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 3 fire monster with 200 defense or less in your graveyard, special summon that in face up defense position. Now, in other words, it's an instant rank 3 or an instant uh, level 6 synchro as long as it's a beast warrior. Now, that's great. And the reason this works with Crane Crane, I'll explain a bit later on. But carrying on. Uh, Brotherhood of the Five Fist Rooster. Um, most people have suggested me to run this at one. Uh, both in the Free Axis Vikings and in this. And I've told them, you know, to go stuff it. Because I feel that if you open up with this, uh, when it's at one, you've kind of got to, you know, try and get into the grave as quickly as you can. So you can't even use it as bait for a minute, like set it and just kind of use it to kind of protect yourself. Whereas if you run two of them, if you get one in your hand, then you always know that you've always got a second one in your deck somewhere for you to be able to search out with, with your horse sprints. Um, so I find two of these is the best number. I think people only started running at one when uh, Spirit got hit, which I think is stupid. Uh, you know, three axis, five fist decks have always run two rooster and... You know, in the OCG, they ran the two rooster, and I think that two roosters is a great number. So, carrying on, three Brotherhood of the Five Fist Leopard tributes itself to uh, search for a Fire Formation spell or trap card from your deck, and you set it. Um, you can only use the effect of it once per turn, but that's fine. Uh, the crazy combo, if you don't know it, using the Free Axis Fire Fist engine is if you have a leopard and either Tenki or Tensu in your hand. You play Leopard, you know, tribute it to grab whatever Fire Formation spell you don't have. So say if you have Tenki, you grab the Tensu, vice versa. And then you play your Tenki to search for Spirit. And then you play your Tensu, non some Spirit, use its effect to bring back Leopard, go into uh, Brotherhood of Fire Fist Horse Prince, and then use that card's effect to grab Rooster, and then you use Rooster's effect, because when it's summoned, Special summon by the effect of a Fire Fist Monster, you get to add a Fire Fist Monster from your deck to your hand. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing about Rooster I always forget to mention is it also helps you, re it's also very good for recycling your uh, Fire Formation spells. So, say if you have a Tanky just sitting there, you can use uh, Rooster's effect to, uh, you know, send it to the grave to grab a Tensu, a Tensen, or a Gyoko in its place. Uh, carrying on then, uh, two Brotherhood of the Five Fist Bear, great card. Uh, most people know what it does. Um, you know, when it inflicts battle damage, you get to search out a Fire Formation spell and set it. And you can also pop a Fire Formation spell trap card you control to destroy one monster on the field. Brotherhood of the Five Fist Gorilla, similar to Bear, except when it uh, destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, which is very important, by the way, as I learned um, in a door, I think it was against. Uh, a deck using D Fissure or Macro. I'm not sure exactly which one it was, but it was a bit of a pain to be honest. And then, similar to Bear, it you know destroys one of your Fire Formation 
spells or traps to destroy an opponent's spell or trap. So, yeah, very good card. Um, next, One Brotherhood the Firefish Dragon. This card is pretty good. Um, you activate a Fire Formation spell while it's on the field and you get to grab a trap from your deck. So, it's a good card and it's an 1800 attack monster, which is better than these guys, which is 1600. So, you know, this can easily get to like 2000 attack, which is always very good beat stick. And also, another cool part of its effect is. Once per turn, you can send two five face-up five formation spell or trap cards from your side of the field to the graveyard, and then special summon one fire fist monster from your graveyard, except Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Dragon. So yeah, that allows you to bring back, say, Boar, Bear, or Gorilla, and go into a rank four, or if you bring back the war, a level eight synchro. So yeah, next card is obviously Boar. Uh, cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a fire monster. Now its stats aren't great, 1,100 attack to 1,400 defense, but that's not that's that shouldn't hinder you to not playing it. To be honest, it's a great card. It allows you to go into Crimson Blader and the Brotherhood of the Firefish Kirin. And also, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level four Firefish monster from your deck, except Brotherhood of the Firefish Boar. Once per turn, when a Fire Fist monster is special summoned from your extra deck, you can set one Fire Formation spell directly from your deck. It's a great card, and I, you know it definitely earns, it definitely deserves a spot in all Fire Fist decks, in my opinion. Next is Two Coats Old Wolf Bark. Uh, it's only got five targets, yes, but those five targets are very useful targets to be bring back. Um, so, if you just bring back one of these, you can go into on your rank fours. But if you bring back a ball, you can go into Crimson Blader or your Brother of the Five is Kirin. So it's a great card. Um, definitely, um, I, I definitely ran it at two. Uh, I think three would be overkill, but two is a good number for the deck. Uh, next is Crane Crane, two Crane Crane. Uh, this card is brilliant. Probably the best card in the deck, in my opinion. It's one of the most. It's, it's so. No one expects to see Crane Crane in this deck, that's the thing. They all think, oh, Fire Fist, okay, it's all going to be Beast Warrior. But Crane Crane catches them off, because when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 3 monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Its effects are negated, you can only use the effect of Crane Crane once per turn. The reason why this is so good is because of Spirit. If you have a Spirit in your grave, you can use Crane Crane to pretty much reborn it to your side of the field, and then go into your... Beast Lord Vulcan or your HGS Sihemoth if you're running it. Wait, no, not HGS Sihemoth. Yeah, I think you can go HGS Sihemoth if its effects are negated. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, and Brotherhood the Fire Fist Horse Prince. So, great card. Um, definitely, definitely worth running. It just allows you to reuse your spirits to go into Horse Prince a lot more often. It also allows you to go into stuff like. Uh, your Levier, you know, all your rank freeze pretty much. So, very good card. And I think this card will see, should see a lot more play in decks. It really should. It's a very underrated card. Carrying on to Blaster, you know, you ditch a dead card in your hands. Say if you have a, le a Rooster or a Leopard in your hand and you don't want it in your hand, or say a Boar in your hand and you have a fa You can just set up nice little plays with it, okay? <laughs> That's all you need to know. So say if you have, say, a Crane Crane in your hand a Brewster or a Spirit, okay? So, say if you have Crane Crane, Spirit, Blaster, and your opponent has a card on the field, you just ditch the Blaster and the Spirit to the grave, destroy your opponent's card, and then go Crane Crane, bring it back. So, it's pretty simple. You can use it with Boar, and then if you have a Wolf Bark, bring back the Boar, Synchro Up, uh, or XC, you know? it Just Blaster helps really uh, set up the grave for your plays. Uh, that's what most people don't seem to realise is that five fist, three axis five fists uh, are heavily based about the grave. It's a, um, well, how I play it is anyway. It's all about trying to get the certain cards into the grave and then manipulating the grave. You know, bringing them back and then just re you reusing them from the grave. And then, last but not least, one effect failure. Uh, I could run two, but I'm not going to because I feel one's okay. Okay, so. Uh, and occasionally I'll use Effect Veiler and Blaster to go into a Crimson Blader. But yeah, Effect Veiler is fine as a one off. Uh, then carrying on for the spells, I have two Fire Formation Tenki. You know, such that a Beast Warrior adds 100 attack to them all. 
It's a shame when this card gets Mystical Space Typhooned uh, when it's activated. That really does suck, but uh, apart from that, it's a good card. Great card. Um, 2 Fire Formation Tensu allows you to uh, normal summon a Beast Warrior in addition to your extra to your normal summon that turn, so you can normal summon twice pretty much. And that's what uh, this card's essential for this deck, it really is. It just allows you to go and hit hard, hit your opponent pretty hard. Uh, Fire Formation Gyoko shuts down on the opponent's back row uh, while it's on the field, so great card. Uh, two Forbidden Lance. You know, I don't think I need to explain it. Two MST. Um, I don't feel I needed a third because I have a Gorilla, two Blaster, two Gyoko, and then I guess you could say two Forbidden Lance as well. So, two Mystical Space Typhoon's fine. Uh, it's like a main deck, anyway. <clears throat> could easily side the third. Um, next, Dark Hole. You know, pretty simple. Foolish Burial. Uh, this card is also a very useful card in the deck. You can uh, use it to set up the grave uh, early on in the game if you draw it. So you can ditch a spirit into the grave if you have Crane Crane in your hand. You can ditch a boar or a bear or your dragon to the grave if you have a wolf bark in hand. You can ditch a rooster to the grave if you have a spirit in the hand. It's just a very good card in general in my opinion. Uh, it works really well in the deck, and I've never come across an instance where I haven't, you know, needed it. It's also very good for ditching blaster to go for a bit of extra damage as well. So, yeah. Next is two rekindling. Uh, this card isn't as useful as I would have thought it is, but it's it is still useful. I mean, I only have four rekindling targets, and usually I only have two or three of them in the grave at at one at one time. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's okay, it just allows you to keep on pushing, uh, it allows you to kind of just bring back your spirit and your leopard and just try and hit hard again. Uh, it's not as good as what it is in Free Axis Fire Kings, uh, which the whole deck of Free Axis Fire Kings is all about, you know, hitting hard with rekindling, pretty much. Uh, that's what their main, like, auto win, I bit, uh, auto win button is. So, uh, carrying on for the traps, 2 Fire Formation ten cent great card it's like an honest in a way it's kind of like an honest for beast warriors um gives them a thousand gives the targeted monster a uh, targeted beast warrior type monster that is a uh, thousand attack for that turn uh, as well as all the others get 300 and then after that the 300 stays on so great card in general uh to call the haunted uh for you to reach all your useful fire fist monsters your spirit if you like have any of these in your hand. Um, you, I, I, I occasionally use it to bring black, bring back a blaster, but it's not really uh, ideal. Uh, it's only like when I'm really on the defensive, I'll bring back a blaster into attack position, and then return it to my hand. Then, if I have a fire monster in my hand, I'll pop my opponent's uh, monster. Uh, then for the four, the four um, staple traps of the torrential tribute, bottomless. Compulse and Solemn Warning. As for the extra deck, I ran two Brotherhood of Fire Fist Horse Prince. Great card when it's not at Synchro Summon, you can special summon one level three fire monster from your deck. So, you know, that just allows you to kind of get set up for the next turn. You usually bring out your rooster because then rooster's effect, rooster's effect activates and you can grab any of these guys here. And it's just a great card in general. Uh, the only downside to it is after you have summoned this card, uh, after you synchro summon this card, you cannot special summon level five or higher monsters for the rest of this turn. That does put you off a little bit, um, but it's it's not too much of a problem, it really isn't, because you have all these rank threes and rank fours. Next is one Vulcan the Divine. I don't think this is out officially in the TCG yet. Uh, I know it's being released in the Shonen Jump pro as a promo. Um, Great card. Uh, I really like using this to bounce back a tanky, and then bounce back one of my opponent's card, and then I'll use the tanky next turn. Uh, great card in general, though. Uh, Black Rose Dragon. Once again, a very good card. Uh, you can use it with the boar and any of your level three fire fists to summon it. Wherever the fire fist Kirin, you know you go and use your boar and any of your other level fours to go into it. Crimson Blade, the same thing. 
you know, both are great cards. Uh, when this card's summoned, you can just set a fire formation spell or trap card from your deck, and then all your opponent's monsters uh, lose 100 attack for each face up spell or trap card you control, which is really good because I do run Call Haunted as well, so they can count. Um, Crimson Blader, you know, very good against any deck that pretty much plays level 5 or higher monsters. Um, carrying on for the XEs, rank 3 is I run. Two Brotherhood of Fire Fist Lion Emperor. This card's probably the best extra deck card in the deck. Um, is in terms of just like how how it just keeps the deck going strong. Without this card, the deck wouldn't be as good as it is. Um, it just allows you to kind of reuse all your monsters. It allows you to reuse your wolf barks. It allows you to reuse your blasters by adding them back to your hand. It allows you to add spirits back to your hand. Bear, gorilla, dragon. It's just a very good card in general, and you know, two is a great number. Uh, you can't normal summon or special summon that monster or a monster with the same name for the rest of that turn, but that's fine, it really is. Uh, next, Levier the Sea Dragon, because your monsters will occasionally get banished. So, Levier, obviously. Uh, number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction. I find this card uh, better than Leviathan Dragon because. Um, Rarely do you see a monster last more than two turns in this game lately. Um, you know, your opponent will work hard to try and get rid of your monster as quickly as they can. And I've got lots of destruction in this deck in the form of Bear and Blaster and... Um, yeah, pretty much Bear and Blaster, actually. But uh, that's fine. Um, Acid Golem with Destruction. Acid Golem, just a good card in general. Uh, 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, so it can... You can, you know, you can use it to go for game very easily. You can use it to uh, just sit on with three thousand defense for a couple of turns. Uh, so yeah, definitely, as a go. Uh, wind up Zermains. Simple. Don't need to explain it too much, should I? No. Okay. Uh, then for the rank four, one Brotherhood of the Five Fist Tiger King. Same thing as the Brotherhood of the Five Fist Kirin. You know, when it's summoned, you get to add. Uh, you get to say. Fire formation spell trap card from your deck. And then once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. All face up monsters, uh, apart from beast warrior type monsters, effects are negated. Which is great. That is great. Uh, don't really need to say that much else about it. I think the other there is another part of its effect. You can send three face up five you can send three face up fire formation spell trap cards. Oh, when this card is sent to the grave, you can send three face up five formation spell trap cards you control to the grave. Special summon two level four beast warrior type monsters with the same attack from your deck in face up defense position. So that means the only thing I'll ever really do is grab the leopard or grab two bears or grab two wolf barks, I think. Is it two wolf barks? Can I do two wolf barks? Yeah, I could do two wolf barks. But uh, yeah. But it's more of the effect negation and the fact that it just thins out your deck that's good about it. Uh, next, Diamond Direwolf. All the monsters in the deck, apart from the two blaster and the effect veiler, are poppable using its effect. You know, you can use them as fodder for your effect. Uh, you know, it's a great car in general. You know, uh, you know who doesn't want to blow up the opponent's stuff? <laughs> it's a great card. Uh, go 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 cowboy. Uh, when it's in attack position, it can get over an opponent's monster as long as it has three thousand or less attack. And then defense position, it just deals eight hundred life points, which is a tenth of the opponent's life points, which is great. So go go cowboy wins you games. And then last but not least, I stroke the symphony gin. You know it can be used to kind of stall for a turn or two, and it also allows you to get over lower defense monsters that have high attack. So, great card. So yeah, that's pretty much the 3-axis Fire Fist deck. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.